when we opened um, SMS, um, we probably came very close to filling it when we, when we sent the kids over uh, from the intermediate school. It was a good experience for our community. It was, it was a great experience for the whole district. As the wrestling coach, I was really excited because for the first time we would actually have a wrestling room. Up to that point for middle school uh, wrestling practice, we put some mats up in the school cafeteria, the main cafeteria, and we just rolled them out every day. And that was a pain in the neck because kids would eat lunch in there over and overnight we'd have like chocolate milk spilled on the mats and stuff like that. I'm with the custodial department. I've been there 28 years. Happy 20th anniversary to SMS. We had to come over Christmas break and take all our equipment over and set it up at the new school. We changed our name from Roadrunners to Jaguars. And then, so we took over the old high school. So those are the things I remember. I've been here too long, but there's a lot more stories, but there's other people that would say that. When the school first opened, um, Kathy Sheba and Dr. St. John asked me to go from the what was then the elementary school to the new middle school as a, as a counselor. And when, when I got there, the only thing I had, they gave me an office, and the only thing in that office was a giant bean bag. There was absolutely nothing else in there. It may, it may have been for naps, it could, could have been. The, the, the real obvious change is when you first walk on campus is you see the row of trees. When, when I first got there 20 years ago, it was like little, little twigs all the way down the campus. And now, now it's just a row of, of big, big giant trees. And then every, everything isn't white anymore. Back then, all the buildings, all the rooms, everything was white. And now it's, there's a lot of color all over campus. We were very excited to move to a new campus. And just the process was a lot of work, but a lot of teamwork. And it really all came together, and it really was about the students. We did most of the work during the holiday break. And so, of course, we were in preparation, you know, months before that because we knew we were going to move to the new campus. But during the holiday break, getting all the boxes, the equipment, the classroom supplies, and be able to move everything over and have the classrooms and the whole campus set up ready for the students on the first day of school. Well, you know, I'm real excited just when I go back, uh, just for different times to visit with uh, the students. The campus has grown and has been a little bit different, but it's still inviting and welcoming for the students. You just gotta go with what you think is best for all students. And I saw it coming with Rancho Cerritos starting to come in, uh, with Bob Sharp and all that, and I saw that there was a lot of things that were happening. He donated this property so we were able to build the school and get it started. It was a lot of work, but it was well worth it for the community, the students in the community, parents that came uh, together for and the community that came together to get this stuff built and everything. It wasn't just a school board or just administrators, it was everybody that made this thing happen. We were very excited, everything was new, everything was beautiful. Um, it, was, it was a lot of fun. Well, everything was just great. We had a, the sixth grade uh, teachers were all in, in one building, so we were all together. The rooms were fabulous and uh, we just had a really great time. It was a good time to be there. It was, it was a fun time. They let us go over and tour the high school as it was before they made it into the middle school. And we just thought, I don't know how they're going to do this. This building looks really strange. And so we were really excited when we got to see the final building. And it was beautiful. Everything was not like what we expected at all. And it was nice and blue and white. And we had had um, lots of orange carpet and <laughs> partitions back in the old middle school, so it was really exciting. The changes have been a lot different. Um, we used to kind of keep all of our sixth graders in one building. Now they're a little bit more like junior high. They move around and go all over the place. I've actually moved classrooms. I used to be over in the sixth grade building, and now I'm over in the back 40, I call it, by the football field. Um, as we've moved around, it's changed like that. Um, a lot of staff has changed. Um, it's interesting. I'm now teaching with some of the students that I taught. Um, my daughter is teaching now, and she kind of grew up at the, at the uh, middle school with me. In fact, we do remember when we moved into that new building, she lost her tooth, and all of the, my team was helping me find a tooth on the new carpet that we thought was so pretty, but it was very ca camouflaged, the teeth. Happy birthday, Sarita Middle School. Happy 20th anniversary, Sarita Middle School. Yeah, well, happy birthday, Serena Middle School. We appreciate it very much. My wife and I both uh, had uh, great times working uh, 
with Sarita Middle School students and parents and uh, teachers. Well, cheers, Sarita Middle School. It's been a great 20 years. Happy anniversary, Sarita Middle School. Happy birthday, Sarita Middle School. 20th anniversary. Happy 20th anniversary. It's hard to believe that it's 20 years now. But then when uh, Ms. Silman called me the other day and I'm like, wow, that hasn't been 20 years. So I didn't even realize it would, had been that long.